walk by this without stopping to see what the hell it is. Is it Jim Eisen? Jim Eisen, Eisen? Uh, Vice President of Sales for One Stop, One -stop Systems. Systems. Okay. What is it? What are we talking about? Uh, what we have is uh, 16 GPUs and a single uh, 3U. Uh, enclosure that can go into any server rack that uh, can handle 36 inch deep uh, cards or uh, chassis. Um, connects to any server, um, any manufacturer that has by 16 slots. We use a Gen 3 uh, small host interface board. Uh, goes from a uh, any short card, uh, short height system. And just about every server can handle that. And that would handle one or one row of GPUs? It can handle one to four rows of GPUs. So this okay. six, 16 GPUs can be run from one of these cards, two, three, or four cards. You can be running it pretty ragged with 16. You can run it <laughs> as ragged as you want. The, uh, the nice thing about it is um, the link uh, stays up mm -hmm. with all four systems, so you can share GPU resources across the GPUs without going back to the host. Um, or you can uh, send all the data back to the host uh, as you need it. The, so that's a really interesting point. Um, I'm going to be writing about this in other articles, but GPUs can intercommunicate right. between each other without having to go out back to the CPU and main memory. Exactly. It takes out a hell of a lot of latency. Uh, it takes out latency and also makes a direct path. So yeah. your um, GPU direct applications will operate just as fast without having to go through a network connection. So, so they'll operate faster? Uh, yeah. I mean, they're losing some pops there. And being some, come on, don't be so shy. Don't be so modest. It's better. It is better. It's faster. So how long have you had this out? Uh, the Gen 3 product starts shipping in April. Uh, this is a prototype model, module here. 9,000 watts of power, 6,000 watts plus a spare. Mm -hmm. uh, so we have full uh, redundancy on the power supplies. Yeah. It's got a full IPMI system monitor. The system monitor does handle uh, SNMP, RRCMP type uh, monitoring applications. We can monitor the telemetry of the GPUs as well as the uh, temperatures and pressure okay. and uh, yeah, temperatures and voltages inside the box. So now this is uh, Gen 3. You did have a Gen 2 product? Yes. Uh, How'd that do for you? Uh, Gen 2 worked very well. The other nice thing about this is we handle full length cards and everything. Yes. So if you've seen some of the other large systems, they handle uh, three quarter length uh, GPUs. Well, GPUs are starting to grow. Mm -hmm. um, so you, you have uh, a lot of passive GPUs out there. Most of the connections of the power is on the back. So you start to see that where you plug power into the back of a GPU, even if it's three quarter length, you start uh, getting into problems with fit. Mm. And uh, now this will support full length cards plus the power in the back for both GPUs front and back row. So there's two ranks of uh, eight GPUs to give you the 16. What's the typical customer look like for this? What are they doing? Uh, anything in the uh, medical imaging markets, uh, image processing, the uh, financial markets, uh, people financial using GPUs. Services, sure. uh, this will also work with um, uh, FPGA cards uh, mm -hmm. and NAND flash cards, so we do storage with the system. Um, the canisters are removable, so you can remove them like a bank of hard drives okay. uh, when you get into them. And then the oil and gas industry is another big uh, oh, product. Makes sense. Good stuff. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What's that ballpark range? What's this go for? Uh, if you're talking quantity one, you're in the uh, $14,000 range. What if I bought two? <laughs> then you got $28,000. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Well, thank you very much, Jim. Good stuff. Right. Thank you. Thanks, Dan.